Hello, today we're going to talk about irradiation and contamination. So firstly, irradiation. Irradiation is when an, a, a person or a material is exposed to radiation. So irradiation is when a person or an object is exposed to radiation. There are three main precautions for this. One is the use of lead-lined boxes to store radioisotopes in. Another would be using uh, barriers that people can stand behind whilst either whilst working with radioactive sources or, or being near them, um, such as if you had a had a, an x-ray. It's not really a radio, radioactive source, but it is ionizing radiation. You'll have noticed that the radiographer goes and stands behind a, a kind of a lead line barrier before activating or turning on the, the x-ray machine. Uh, third one would be the use of remotely controlled arms. So this is literally, you'd use a joystick to control a, a robotic arm so that you don't even have to be in the same room as the, as the uh, radioactive source. Okay, so that's a radiation. Contamination is where unwanted unwanted radioactive particle, particles get onto or into a material we then say that that material is contaminated contaminate those contaminating atoms later release ionizing radiation which could cause you harm uh, there are two main kinds of precautions for this sort of uh, for, against contamination. The first one is that you you be using gloves and tongs to handle radioactive sources. This keeps or prevents uh, any of the radioactive material from getting underneath your skin or under your nails, where it would stay for a while. Um, just to give an example of what I mean by contamination, if you have your radioactive source here, if you're using it barehanded, when you walk away from it, you could easily have a dust or a powder or a small remnant of that radioactive source stuck to your fingers, which you are then carrying with you. Uh, the other precaution you can take it is more used in industry than it would be used in schools. Um, if you're using a, a, a very powdered or a very brittle material um, you, in industry, they might wear protective suits. And these suits are to prevent you from breathing in um, any of the material, which is not an issue with the, sort of, the sorts of radioactive sources that we use in schools. Okay, so which are more dangerous? Well, outside the body, you'll find that beta radiation and gamma radiation are the two most dangerous because they can penetrate into the body and can reach the delicate organs and therefore could, can harm them. On the other hand, inside the body, the most dangerous are alpha. Because alpha sources, if they reach inside the body, um, all of their damage is done to a localized area and what you have inside your body are those delicate organs. So they can be much more dangerous if they contaminate inside your body than outside. The last thing I'd like to, to say is just the role that peer review has in all of this. So the more we understand how different types of radiation affect our bodies, the better we can protect ourselves when we use them. This is one of the reasons why it's so important that research is published. The data in when published is peer reviewed and can quickly become accepted, leading to many improvements in our use of radioactive sources and keeping, therefore keeping people safer. Okay, I hope this has helped. Um, and I'll see you on Monday.